Renewing old surfaces with epoxy is simple. In this video, we're going to show you step by step how we took these earth tone colors, almost made it look like orange onyx transparent in some areas. We're going to teach you the tips and tricks to create epoxy perfection. Our epoxy rocks, stone cold countertops. Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. Hey guys, we're going to create a fun stone coat countertop today using our epoxy and some color additives. We're going to use four different color spray paints, rustic orange, warm caramel, white and black, all in gloss. Then we're going to use our copper metallic additive and our white base tint. We're going to have some fun and create movement in this piece. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to add some visual interest by pre-fogging some spray paint on this piece. That way, if we see through any clear epoxy, we'll have something going on, not just a straight black base. Okay, we got that dialed. We'll let that dry, and then it's time to apply the epoxy. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna take our satin, rustic orange. I'm gonna spray it directly into the clear epoxy. This gives us a very translucent effect. It won't be quite as opaque as tinting it with our base tint or metallic. You know what I'm gonna do in this? I'm throwing a change up. Let's do some pearl as well. We're gonna do our pearl metallic as our fourth color and we'll leave our fifth color clear. You wanna make sure that you stir your metallics vigorously so that you break them up and disperse them throughout the epoxy. You got plenty of working time, so mix those well and you'll get a great end result. Let's do this. We're gonna apply these colors and see what we can come up with. So I want my white to pop, so I'm gonna layer my dark and then work my way up to the light. Now what I'm gonna do is just simply spread this out with my hands. You can use anything you want to spread it, but all I'm doing here is just making sure that I rub epoxy on any dry surface. You don't want any surface left undone. Just by spreading it out randomly, it keeps everything organic for me. It makes it look right. Look at what it's doing here, Chris, all on its own. That's neat. Hopefully that comes back. All right, let's add white and black. I'm gonna add that with the spray paint and then we'll go from there with this clear. White and black always gives a really good contrast to any project. I always use these two colors no matter what palette I've picked. And I don't have a lot of epoxy on this edge, so I'm gonna add a little clear right here for myself just to help it out a little bit. I'll spread that with a paint stick, and that's gonna do wonders here. It'll make these colors move differently too. Oh, it's picking up those colors slightly and giving me lots of depth. I think I'm gonna grab a little bit of white that's left over and just run some strings of white down this. Now I'm gonna get the heat gun and move this around a little bit and I think we're gonna call it good. Look at how the black is reacting with the base tint underneath it. That's the fun thing that you get with the reactions of using different additives to create color. Check that out. Look at what that does compared to just a straight line. I really like that movement. We have clear over that so you get some depth. This looks so real in here. I don't want to mess with it too much. See this, I'm gonna spread that out a little bit so that it looks more realistic there. It doesn't just stop. Yeah, I like that better, that's cool. This black stops abruptly before it hits the edge. So we're gonna use the heat gun and feather it out and push it over the edge so it makes sense. Right here is some surface tension. If you look right here, that needs to be touched. Because it's not down to the surface, all you gotta do is touch it, and now those areas will fill in. Guys, I'm really thrilled with the final product here. This piece has come out fantastic. I like that we use different additives and different ratios in those additives. That orange spray paint that I sprayed in the cup, it's definitely transparent. You can see through it. You have this orange hue. It's almost like looking through an orange piece of stained glass. It's beautiful. And then you have some of that white that's coming over the top and it looks like onyx. It, it looks gorgeous. I couldn't have forced that to happen. It's a happy accident. You know, this is really cool where I've used the black. That black has created thin, tight lines and it looks real. It's contrasting and popping the rest of those colors. Without that black, it may look slightly muted. I like where the heat gun has blown some of these uh, effects out. I don't have anything on here that looks man-made. If I did, I would simply come back with my torch 
or my heat gun and make that look real by painting with air. Visit us anytime at StoneCoatCountertops.com and we'll see you on the next video. I've never worked with the epoxy before. This is my very, very, very first time touching it. So if this doesn't prove that anyone can do it, I don't know what does. I feel like Mike. And that's about it. Not bad for a first run. You got this. Our epoxy rocks, Stone Coat Countertops. Hey, visit us anytime at StoneCoatCountertops.com. Call anytime for free project support. And until next time from Stone Coat Countertops, you got this. We'll see you soon.